Welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. I am the unknown creature. What? Yes, very unknown. See, you don't even know what I'm talking about, I'm so unknown. It's very mysterious. It's very unknown. It's like knowing something that you shouldn't know, but you forget, and then like, wait, what? Exactly. Also joining us today is Totera. I knew this day would happen. No one would believe me, but I knew that one day the butterflies would take over the world. What the fly you say? <laughs> well, I am weak to bug Pokemon. Some of them are very spooky. And I, I'm sure that the evil villain named Hawk Moth is not responsible for any of them. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, everyone run away from Hawk Moth! Oh, it's so scary! Oh. Hawk, look out for Hawk Moth! Ooh. And his little butterflies! Ooh. Oh man, it's been a while since we talked about that one. Freaking lamest villain I've ever done heard. Hey, he's not that bad. Wait, that's a real thing? Oh my god, Terra, you forgot? He's blocked out the memory. <laughs> Mostly because he was probably still broken up about flying dumpsters in space. <laughs> yeah, we, we need a refresher. Probably, what, uh, two weeks from now? Who knows? <laughs> but anywho, in today's episode, we are going to review Season 1 uh, of Pony Life. Uh, the overall episode 8. Yes, uh, titled Big Hoof Walking and the Fluttershy Effect. So... In Big Hoof Walking, the ponies set out to earn their Trail Trotters Rare Animal Sighting Badge by searching for a terrifying creature known as the Big Hoof. And in The Fluttershy Effect, Rainbow Dash's obsessive need for speed caused several consequences in, consequences in Ponyville's future. So, before we head into the episode, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Well, I'm still holding that this arc for Fluttershy's Trail Trotter's obsession is the weakest story and the least likable. Uh, So, yeah, I'm clearly going to be a bit cranky. However, these two episodes are probably the least awful because they have the least to do with uh, the liar revealed and (laughs) Fluttershy's uh, obsession. So, by and large, they're just, well, okay, silly romps for, uh, for the, um, the hunt for this mythical creature, the first, the first episode. The Rainbow Dash one is just, wow, that was a thing and now it's over. That escalated way too quickly and is finished way too quickly. And I don't know what to make of it otherwise. Hmm. All right. All right. And Tara, what about you? My first impression is what the heck was going on? (laughs) Because <laughs> usually the Pony Life episodes would be like one full episode, but it would break into two parts. This one, it's two separate episodes that could have basically been one full episode with the Big Hoof. And I'm, I'm, as I'm watching it, it's like, oh, okay, that happened so quickly. On to the next episode. And then, like Silver said, the next one is just it a, a, a thing happens and it quickly ends. It's like, okay, well, that just happened. Yeah, and I, I, I think... Uh, I've told Silver this last uh, last episode where um, he thought that the full episode was 22 or 25 minutes till I corrected him and said that the whole thing was 11 minutes. So uh, if you minus what, one minute or 50, whatever, 30 seconds for songs, uh, one episode is just five minutes. So yeah, Pony Life is short. It's also very confusing because I would actually like to point out too, uh, you know how you just said this is season one, episode eight. Well, when I went to look for it on uh, Google, I just typed in Pony Life episode eight. It brought me to the Hyper Helper episode that we talked about, uh, I think, two weeks ago. Mm, And I'm mm. like, wait a minute, we already talked about this one. But it says on the right, uh, the Big Hoof Walking, the Photoshop effect. So then after when I typed that in, it's like, oh, it's actually episode 10. I'm like, but but it says episode eight right here. What? (laughs) Yeah, oh wow, okay. Um, explanation for that one is, I, I think that they consider each episode its own thing. Like, uh, what, season one started with, uh, what, this episode part one and this episode part two, and then uh, they consider that as episode one and two, and they carry on that one. So, um, 
what last week we mentioned that uh, they were coming in blocks or something like that. Yeah, so uh, let's just say that pony life is confusing. I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying this new experiment and seeing if it works or not. And in all honesty, for me, I don't think it works. They're trying to destroy our minds. We already have video games for that. And the election process. Oh, <laughs> topical. Uh, by the time when this episode comes out, it'll be way after elections. This is all to say, hello, future me. I'm pulling for you. Yay. Well, Tell me you've won the, that million dollars yet. <laughs> yes, I did. But I'm not giving it to you. Ha 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 ha. That's okay, I'll get it when I become you. <laughs> oh boy. So anywho, uh yeah. So as for me, oh god, this episode was it was just fine. It, it wasn't really insulting, it wasn't really boring or anything. It was just there, it exists. <sighs> what what can what can I say? I mean the the annoying part for this one is just that uh, like Silver mentioned, is the liar reveal? When? When are we going to get past that? Because whatever adventure they have right now is kind of negated by the fact that everybody's lying to Fluttershy. And the other part of the second episode, that one, uh, it's just, yeah, Rainbow Dash should learn how to calm down and think beforehand. But at the same time, too, didn't she learn that lesson in Friendship's Magic? Well, this is not Friendship's Magic. We have to. At least hold ourselves to that standard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at the same time, too, when they reference stuff from Friendship is Magic, you gotta say, you, don't, you, you gotta um, come in with the fact that this is a continued universe. Is it? I guess so. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. It's one of those scenarios where you think it is, but certain aspect of the show says it's not, but it does, but not. Now we've just broken Norman's brain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, way to go, Pony Life. You made Norman crazy. Who we'll said I wasn't crazy? <laughs> but anywho, um, uh, with that, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So, yeah, uh, we start off the episode with um, all the gang huddled up in Fluttershy's really interesting cottage. Like, really interesting. There's two doors to her cottage. One is on the lower ground and one is above ground. I don't remember that existing. What? Oh, no, this is a very different cottage. But, uh, you know, Pegasus entrance. I'm more concerned that she has the screamer as a painting. (laughs) Yeah, oh boy. So, anywho, um, everybody goes to Fluttershy's cottage and... Twilight is downloading an app that can look for, uh, what you call this? If I'm not mistaken, look for wild animals or something like that. Trail Trotters basically wants you to get photos of rare creatures, and so it's just a database delivered on a literal cloud. <laughs> cloud data. Uh, okay, okay. That that was that was funny. That that, that was funny. I I give it that. It still doesn't make sense though how it works when they when Twilight plugs the cord in it. Yep, downloading the cloud. <laughs> uh, you mean when she gets a hold of Discord? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this guy haven't appeared yet, but I can't wait to see him in action. <laughs> oh my god, it's painful. But anywho, um, after downloading the app, uh, wh- whatever it is they did. Um, the group kind of asked Pinky, sorry, Fluttershy, what are they going to look for? Uh, they they range from uh, World Slow's Cheetah to Kangaroo No Pouch and so on. And Fluttershy says, no, I, I want to hunt down the elusive Big Hoof. And everybody's shocked and surprised and in fear. Applejack comes in and says, yeah, it's true. I, I read it online. Yep, yep. And... Twilight Sparkle confirms it. Uh, I think, what? where did she read it? Where, where, where did she read that? Uh, hmm, looking up on Merpedia. <laughs> Merpedia. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, boy. I'm going to pause here. Silver, what do you think? Well, I mean, right now, they're just... This is just the setup. But we're seeing how this world is different from Equestria. I mean, one, they have a picture of the Screamer. It's not a pony. So humans may be thing. Tablets are much more a thing in this in this show. They brought, they've modernized it contextualized it and I'm less a fan of that to be honest I like the timelessness of Equestria but I mean it's still oh yeah the liar revealed hasn't happened yet and it's not going to for a little while longer I know and Tara what about you can't really say much I was a bit confused with the whole cloud data it was a funny joke though but still with the whole how electricity works I do, I do think I mean I'm not saying that it could be true, but I think the um, when Applejack's entrance comes in, I feel like that's a reference to Jaws with the chalk scratching, but instead of the chalk scratching, it's the tea kettle whistling. <laughs> I feel like that might be a reference to it. <laughs> Possibly. Another thing too, I f- I feel like that um, pony li- pony life is. Uh, how should I say this? Catching on a trend with the modern life, because I noticed that in the title screen, uh, where Fluttershy, you know, is looking down at the tablet, you see the horns behind her. On the bottom left, you see the words, the word "oof." <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. S- S- I, I, I saw that. I saw. I'm like, oh my god, they didn't. <laughs> Silver. Uh, I think that's a button for that. Uh, there used to be, but now, now, everyone uses it. Oh, man. I've heard it used so many times, I can't even believe it. They've conquered the vernacular. <laughs> it's just a big old... <laughs> uh, but, yeah, boys. So, anywho, um, I'm going to carry on. Oh, boy, it's so painful. <laughs> Isn't but, it always? Not this bad. But, anywho, um... The group agrees to look for the, what you call this big hoof in the park. Looks like the park. It's a forest. But why? Uh, it looks like what? a park. You know, I know. It's on the open. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. Forests have open spaces. Yeah, not with most fountains and gazebos and whatnot. And uh, benches. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to carry on. So, anywho, the group goes to quote-unquote forest to look for the big hoof. Uh, and, you know, I'm just going to summarize because there's no point in me going into it, dragging it on. So, yeah, the, the group kind of separates uh, Rarity looking at herself, saying that she's the most amazing thing. Uh, Apple, Jack, and Rainbow Dash bump into each other and scratch the bejesus out of each other. And... Twilight Sparkle, Asway, De Hay, is Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy. So they spotted hoof tracks, and they follow it into the forest. And okay, now we're actually in a forest. Okay, it's a forest. See, it's a forest. Uh, yeah. Look at the forest. Uh, uh, now I'm questioning: Is this the Everfree Forest or not? Like, so, ah. well, anywho, um, once they get there, they are scared by a tree. Uh, Rainbow Dash does the sonic spin dash and somehow uh, bumps into the tree, discovering said tree has Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie in it. And in tree is just um, small Pinkie uh, and Fluttershy. I I don't know how they got there in the first place. They don't explain it. They don't want to explain it. And uh, they couldn't find Big Hoof and... They said, oh, well, at least we had a nice walk in the park and whatever it is. And let's take a selfie with our tablets. Oh, our very awesome Celestia model tablets. And take a selfie. And ooh, they discovered that the big hoof is behind them. Ah, episode ends. So should I carry on or ask for opinions? I guess we could talk about the uh, this one half of an episode. Okay. So, Tara, what do you think? I think it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. You, you set up for this creature called Big Hoof, and, you know, it's basically, I guess it was uh, Halloween-themed as well. 
at the well, I would say at the time, but you know, but the the whole thing, the reveal is like you see the tree, and it's like okay, you know that's not the monster, but they act like it is, and then it shows that Fluttershy just pulls out Pinky, and they don't explain how, and it's like you can't just do that. You got to explain why. I mean, I know it's Pinky Pie, you know, Pinky Pie being Pinky Pie, she's silly, but they don't explain it. And then after the whole, yeah, let's take a selfie, and then you see the creature in the bag, and it's like okay, so what happened? Did they make it out alive? Did they die? Did they turn into the uh, um, Bankrupt themselves? You gotta do this stuff, but no, it just ends. And it's just why? <laughs> because they hate us. <laughs> wow. Silva, what about you? Honestly, I was just, one, I, now that I know that they were actually in a park for a good chunk of it rather than uh, the forest later, like they were getting scared in the park. It's not even atmospheric fear. Come on. You boys are supposed to be tough. You're supposed to be determined. Look, Looking at Fluttershy's tablet fills you with determination. Nah, man. Nah. I've seen enough cartoons where they're ta- looking for a mythical creature and they said, oh, there is no mythical creature. Only surprise, surprise, there is a mythical creature. It's pretty tried and true. And you know what? We don't really have to go that far. The comic already covered this. And in fact, the uh, Friendship is Magic also covered this. So this is kind of a rehash on... Oh, God, yeah. <sighs> yep. Oh, boy, this is annoying. What? What? It's... They're, it's, it's, they're, they're retelling a story idea that they already did before. Uh, Friendship is Magic did it in... Uh, season uh, 9 where Apple Bloom and Applejack was trying to hunt down the whatever creature was that called again I forgot Uh, and then in the comic it was almost the same thing I I think they did it in what the Christmas special something like that and I think they did it twice ah man Um, no they did it with uh, the uh, the CMC and the forest I mean the trope has been done before and they did it in other places but in Pony Life I, I don't know I, I think because of the short uh, f- show format that's why the episode feels bad does the episode feel bad Norman or do you feel bad I don't know man that, that, that is a... tell me about your feelings gush to us nah man Ah, oh, boys. But anywho, um, anything to add, Silver? I, I kind of stole your thunder. No, there wasn't that much thunder to begin with. So, eh, it's just silly, but ultimately harmless. Yeah. No one comes out looking the worst for it, at least. Oh, true. I, I think that's why this episode felt like it was kind of dull. Like, nothing of consequence... consequence happen <clears throat> and we're still waiting for the liar to be revealed oh true <laughs> and let's move on to the next uh, uh, block and next block is the Fluttershy effect so in this one we get to see Rainbow Dash practicing or just playing around being really fast and whatnot. and Pinkie Pie goes up to her saying yo Rainbow Dash we need your help we need your speed to do stuff deliver items and whatnot. So uh hop right into it. So Rainbow Dash says, Okay, we'll do uh, it'll be done in a gif and flies her way to Twice Place. Twice place in this scenario is the castle of the two sisters. What? Uh but anywho, uh on, along her way she get distracted by a ring on her app. Or her phone. She pulled it out of her butt and she starts playing a game. Uh, said game is the update to Wonder Bolt something 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 Fluttershy. So after playing and getting the high score, she's kind of tardy. She heads to Twilight's castle in... Oh, you know what? Just going, I'm just going to call it Twilight's place. She heads to Twilight's place and takes the uh, cloning machine Numatron thingamajig. And Twilight says it's very fragile and don't destroy it. And I'm going to pause here. So, Silver, what do you think? Well, honestly, I'm skimming through trying to find a shot at Twilight's castle. 
It does look, the interior does look like the Castle of Two Sisters. Yeah, it's ruins. This can't be Twilight's home. Yeah, how could she even live in a place like that? Uh, mm. Silver, would you say it's an upgrade from before? <laughs> no, because now there's open holes in the ceiling. I mean, if anything, if this is how they, they depict Twilight's friendship castle, they made it worse. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. Why would it be in the castle of the two sisters? Well, I mean, they do find cre- they do find creepy, weird technology and uh, spells there. Yeah, but the castle of the two sisters is dominated by the student six. So, oh man, I can't wait to see them. They're not in this show. Nope. Yeah, They're gone. These. Norman, you must you must let go. Of the friendship is magic. If you are to progress on your road to being less butthurt. No. Otherwise, we'll ha- we'll have to call the ambulance on you. <laughs> no, never. Friendship is magic what beat me. All right. Well, then, Torterra, we need to call the ambulance <laughs> and have them help our friend with a severe case of butthurtness. Yep. He just can't sit still on this otherwise. <laughs> but, but anywho, um, carrying on, um, we... I, I asked Silva and I haven't asked Tara. Sorry, Tara, what, what do you think? Can't really say much. It's basically the same as every episode. It's always with the start. It always starts up with a setup. You know, Rainbow Dash is doing something, and then Pinky comes in and goes, Yeah, thank hoofness, I found you. Which is like, Wait, what'd she say? I had to go back a couple of times and be like, What'd she say? She said hoofness. Like, Okay, well, now I know. <laughs> Annoying is half the battle. G.I. Joe. But no, and then the. I guess the one thing that could be relatable is Rainbow Dash going, a new game just dropped out today. Be like, oh, I am so on that, girl. <laughs> uh, but your responsibilities. Yes, responsibilities first. <laughs> oh, stupid, stupid responsibility. Hate you. <laughs> yes, responsibilities. And now I know how Silver feels. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we continue on. Applejack and Rarity at Sugar Cube Corner trying to decorate the place on time. And uh, Rainbow Dash pops in and says, Yo, I'm here and let's get this party finished. So the, what you call this uh, magic thingy that Twilight gave is kind of a cloning thingy. Uh, you insert one thing here and it pops out copies of said thing that you put in. So she inserted balloons and the place is almost done or not yet done and Fluttershy is at the door Fluttershy a rainbow dash grabs a butterfly and puts it into the machine and somehow it time travel her into the distant future where it's ruled by insects yes yes so do you remember the name of the place no <laughs> what was it called I, if I remember, the Pinkie Pie hologram calls it Monarch, Monarchville, like the Monarch Butterfly. Oh. So they just call it Monarchville Monarch. instead of Ponyville. <laughs> this is also a call to Destiny and their new monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense because you know they got rid of all the ponies, so now it's nothing but Monarch Butterflies. Mm. So, anywho, um, Rainbow Dash travels into the future. And Pinky Hologram tells her that you messed up. Uh, a tank pops in and somehow is flying on a hoverboard and also is able to talk with some kind of device that let her let him speak. So Rainbow Dash panics and tries to find a way to the past. A tank grabs a hold of her and says that you should stop calm down, and think. And she does, and somehow that puts her back in her in, in time to the point where Pinkie Pie meets up with Rainbow Dash. And with that, Pinkie Pie, sorry, Rainbow Dash uses the knowledge that she has to do things right and not procrastinate. And yeah, go to party and make things work. Episode ends. Oh boy. Okay, um, Silver, what do you think? Well, they've introduced a MacGuffin that will uh, be another piece of uh, this duplicator thingamabob. 
it's going to be a plot point in, in at least one other episode. So, spoilers! I know. <laughs> but honestly, this feels like, wow, you, you went with really wild stuff and then you just ended it right away. This could have been a two-parter very easily. I mean, just having them in this uh, monarchyville ruled by apparently totalitarian butterflies. <laughs> I kind of want to see this world. Uh, it, <laughs> it'll be interesting. It would be. So why are we not seeing it? Because it's interesting. Because Tank had to ruin it. Because Tank, who built that for Tank? I don't know. <laughs> Does Rainbow Dash say like, hey, now that I know that Tank can actually talk if we give him a squawk box, could someone whip that up? Uh, that's true, that's true. Oh, God. I mean, it's it's weird for weirdness' sake. It's here and gone in a heartbeat, so there's no lasting impression. It's just meant to be silly and funny. And I got the silly part. I couldn't really laugh all that hard. I, I guess it's one of those things where it's so short that you don't get the full effect of the episode. I mean, if, like, Twilight and the others and even Celestia were all laboring in the pollen mines or or are harvesting sweet nectar from genetically mutated flowers, then we could be getting somewhere. But nope. Actually, when I think about it, I don't know. Celestia isn't going to show up except for one more episode, as far as I remember. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm just trying to lower your expectations so you don't give in to the crippling darkness that is the realization of everyday life. Oh, everyday life is... Happy! Everyday life <laughs> is normal for me. I mean, I, I know what to expect. But Pony, I expect fun times and cheerful joys. Pony life is not giving any me any of those. Anyway, Tara, what about you? This was also stupid. <laughs> It just it's just here one day and gone the next. And I also did want to see more of this uh, Monarchyville because you see like giant bugs flying all over the place when you see uh, uh, you get an overview of the. I was about to say Ponyville, but it's not Ponyville. <laughs> but I did want to see like like Silver said, this could have been a two party. It could have been the first part with Rainbow Dash, you know, doing what we just saw earlier, and then she does butterfly cone. And then they could have ended with the overhead view of the new Monarchville. But no, it just ends so quickly. Tank has to fly in and tells her to find her inner peace or, you know, take things slow and all that stuff. And then she just magically goes back in time, back to where she started. And we don't even see the aftermath of Rainbow Dash fixing the party because as she's on her way to go fix the party, she just gets scared away by a butterfly and it ends there. I'm like, it's over already? Yeah. Oh, God. It's so short. It's, it's very short. And as for me... Almost as short as Norman's temper with this. <laughs> uh, and as for me, oh, God. This, this episode here was interesting. I, I do like the concept where Rainbow Dash needs to learn how to stop, think, and sorry, stop, look, and think. Like, like you can go fast, but without a proper plan, you're not getting the job done right. And also, don't get distracted, and also don't procrastinate. Those are the big no-nos. But in this episode here, yeah, she kind of learns her lesson. But in the end, does it really matter? Because she's probably going to be back to the her old self. And since the format is so short, we... Uh, how do I put this? This reminds me of a Teen Titan episode where Starfire gets blasted into the future where the group kind of disbanded after her disappearance. Uh, Robin became Nightwing. Beast Boy became a... Uh, fat balding man cyborg was kind of rusting away and raven became a demon or something like that uh, she was in a mental ward ah uh, so yeah um that there was interesting and we get to see the setup where she learned what happened and tries to stop it but she couldn't 
And the only way to do it is to go back through time and, well, not disappear. This one here has all of the interesting concept that she can do, but in the end, she just... Uh, episode so short that we don't really see the payoff. Oh, boys. Well, anywho, those are my opinions. And, well, uh, review over. Yay. Wow. Wow. Can't, never heard Norman so happy that we the review's over. Yeah, just N- Norman is becoming increasingly nihilistic as he watches this show. It's really unhealthy. I know. So I'm scared. Uh, you know, okay. I, I think next week we're going to take a bit of a break from... Po- not not next week. I mean, uh, ne- next week or something like that. I, I don't know the scheduling. But um, I'm going to take a break from Pony Life. And probably, okay, you know what? There's that special. Anybody remember that special did by... Uh, Boulder Studios, the one where um, Rainbow Road Trip. Remember, anybody remember that one? I remember Me that. Remember? Me remember. Yeah, let's do that one. It's been a while. Remember Star Wars? <laughs> Stop it, Jar Jar. Nobody likes you. Yeah, let's just talk about politics in the Star Wars universe. Do it. <laughs> I I want to I want I, I want to I want to see a movie about Ra- Revan. Or you're just revving up for that. Uh-huh. Actually, Revan's cool. Revan's awesome. But anywho, uh, yes, Silver, what are we going to do for next week's episode review? Oh, well, if you were cheesed off about <coughs> this, wait till we tackle My Little Pony French Miss Magic issue 81. Hmm. It sounds like you don't like this one? There's a lot to comment upon. Ah, alrighty then. So... You know what? Yeah, that, that'll be next week's thing. That'll be next week's thing. Because, in all honesty, uh, you know, I'm going to hold my tongue. So, yes. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at animeshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Oh, a variety of places. You can find me on Twitter and DeviantArt under MLP Silver Quill. Also on Kofi and Patreon, you can support my videos and comics and whatnot by uh, looking for Silver Quill. Uh, on YouTube, do a search for After the Fact and, again, Silver Quill. Ye shall find me. And on Wednesdays, you will find me posting on Equestria Daily with editorials and comic reviews. Awesome, awesome. And Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people could find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortero1324, or they could just do a Google search, and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Yay, awesomeness. Also, please subscribe to videos on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. And talking about Patreons, this show has one too. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Leg. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. And I am the Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya. Adios. Bye bye. So, there was something. I tell you, Norman, you're going to go through an existential crisis if this keeps up. Ah, uh, yeah, it's so true. Yeah, it's scaring me. What can I say? P- p- pony life is. is. yes, yes, yes. Next. What can we say except you're welcome? Can they though? Next week, next week.